Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make a decent profit in Star Citizen 3.19.1 uh, uh, and how to do that by using nothing more than, it could be a rented uh, Cutlass Black. I'm actually going to use my own but you can use a rented one, it's fine. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and jump in our vehicle and we're going to head over to either, and there's two choices here, Crusader or Hurston. The reason for that is because you're going to want to go to CRUL4 quite a lot. And actually Crusader is a lot closer, but we're already at Hurston, so we're going to start it here. Now, in order for this to work, there is something else you're going to need to do. Uh, and that is that you're going to need to start with some of the salvaging contracts. Now, if you have a vulture, you can use that. You can use the hand tool, but it takes forever. Or just find somebody or ask somebody to help you out with your starter missions. But what you're going to need to do is in the contracts tab, you're going to need to have unlocked in the salvaging the 50k missions. Now we're not going to take these, but you'll need to unlock these. What we're going to do is go to the personal tab. In the personal tab under salvage, you're going to see there are two 30k missions. One is going to be on Yella, and one is going to be in Hurston. We're going to take the Hurston 30k mission. Okay, so we go ahead and we take that. And now we've got 30 minutes to head there. Now, you might argue and say, well, surely you should be there before you take the mission. It's only going to take us five minutes. Uh, we're not going to spend the entire 30 minutes there. We're not going to salvage. We're not even taking a salvage ship with us. We are simply just taking a Cutlass Black because it has cargo space. And we're going to fly out to that location. Now, it costs 30000 for this. So we need to make sure we're getting back more than 30,000. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so we're going to find out where our salvage is. At the moment it's out here. Not too far from where we are. Perfect. We can set our route. And we're going to take off. And we're going to head over to where we need to go. So this is from on the ground. Uh, not even at the location, so we'll be able to time this video and see how long this takes. And also, in doing this, I'm curious how much money we can make within the hour. So, I'm just heading out a little bit, and let's turn around. Okay. Thank right, you. heading this way. a quantum drive out now i do have the upgraded quantum drive so i will be going a little bit quicker if you're in a rented you'll be a little bit slower just need to consider that okay so we're going to head to where we're going it's not too far now what we're looking for is the cargo on the ship that's what we're actually interested in is the cargo nothing else now not every ship will have cargo and some ships will have security you just need to be aware of that uh, they're the only two instances where you could end up losing out um, but as long as you find cargo, it's pretty consistent. You'll get the same cargo when you do it. And you should be able to make anywhere from 110 to 150,000 per five minutes. And that's profit. That's after costs. So, okay. We're where we need to be. So we're going to head towards salvage. Now, we've got a bit closer to where we need to go. So we turn our markers off, we'll be able to see now. It then gives us the actual location of the ship. Now, there is another downside to this, and that is invisible asteroids. They are a real thing in a game. You definitely need to be aware of them. If you hit one, there's not really much you can do about it. Try and go back out to get your stuff. Chances are, you'll probably hit that same asteroid. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, head up towards this vehicle. I have new joysticks that I'm using, so please excuse my flying. I still haven't even set up all my keybinds on this. All right. So this one's a hammerhead. Hammerheads are quite easy. There's only three ships you're going to have. A Starfarer, a hammerhead, or you're going to have um, the Caterpillar. So for this instance, because we're using the hammerhead, what you're going to do is position yourself at the uh, rear of the ship. Okay, And then when you get a bit closer to the ship, what you're looking for, and you can kind of tell you've got the head, the hammerhead, and you've got the other side. So you want to be uh, heading over towards the other side of this ship. Okay, and you're going to be wanting to go under, well, alongside the front like this. 
Okay, if I actually come out so you can see it a bit better, uh, you're going to want to kind of position yourself for this ship uh, kind of around here. You can go a little bit under, um, but you want to go kind of around here. Okay, you don't want to go too far out as well. That's another thing. Once you're here and you're in a in this place, okay, we're going to go just to uh, here. Once you're here, uh, you can just jump out of your ship. So now you're out of your ship. Make sure, and this is the other thing you must make sure, one, you've got a helmet on. That is always uh, important. Um, but two, you have a tractor beam. You're going to need to use a tractor beam, so please make sure you have one on you. Okay, so we're quite far out, but that's fine. We're going to jump out of our ship. Okay, we're going to head over now to... Behind this turret. Now we could take the guns off of this, this is another thing we can do, but at the moment we're not interested in that. What we want to do is get here to the elevator section. Once here, press F. Once you get close enough, you'll be able to call the elevator. And you can spin yourself the right way round, and the elevator will drop down. Now you want this is why you want to make sure you're kind of positioned the right way up on your ship, and you're able to pick up the boxes that you'll find inside. Here we go. So picking up these boxes, you can try and pick up two at a time. I'm not very good at doing it that way. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab these and we're going to push them into our open door there. That's it. That's all we need to do at this stage. So we're going to get all four boxes. This is Quantanium, which I have now, which is worth 25k alone. Uh, there is a Maze, which is also worth 90k. Maze is the real the one that we're after. You'll have a, uh, a Slam in here and an Etan. These are the four boxes. And then sometimes you'll find a fifth box. Uh, sorry, I think Etam is the fifth box. So you've got Widow and Slam. And then possibly Etam as a potential fifth sometimes. Um, so Contanium is worth 25. Uh, Maze is worth 90. Um, I think Etam's worth 15. Slam's worth 10 or it's the other way around. Uh, Etam's worth 10, I think. But one of them's worth 15 and the other one's worth 10. So um, that's it. That's all we're going to do at this stage. Then we're just going to stack these up inside here. Perfect. And that's it. We have our four boxes. Now we can, as you can see, 24 minutes now. Not even that long to be able to do this. And that is all we're going to do. Back in the pilot seat. We press F1 to bring up our menu. Okay, and from here we're going to go to our contract. Go to accepted. And we're going to abandon the contract. Once you've abandoned it, you can then come back to personal. And now, if you go to salvage, there will be another one available. This is another hammerhead. So again, we're going to accept this contract. Okay, and we're going to head over to this one. So let's do this now. So, it's not actually that far. Just need to get away from this asteroid here. And we'll do exactly the same thing. And this time, you can see on the timer, we're at 29 minutes. Uh, we're going to see how long it's going to take us to get there. And you can repeat this over and over again, but I would recommend probably not spending more than uh, 10 tri trips, which is going to be approximately 300,000 uh, credits that you're going to spend. Um, that's a pretty good level of risk to be able to take. You might want to do five, you know, you might want to do less. It's up to you. All right, so we're going to head over to this salvage and see what happens. Now, again, there's three things that could challenge you here. One, you might get there and find no cargo. Not much you can do about that. Two, you might hit an invisible asteroid. Not really much you can do about that either. And three, you might come up against security, which if you fight, you'll end up with a crime stat. So just be aware of these potential challenges and uh, just deal with that accordingly. You know, you're not going to get a hit every single time. Uh, but as long as you're profitable more, more times than you're not, that's all that counts, which is why I would only recommend doing five to ten runs and then banking it. Yes, it takes a little while to do that, but then you guarantee that money. So, okay. And closer, this is another hammerhead, so we're going to do exactly the same thing again. We're going to look for the... You can target the ship if you want as well. That will tell you the, first, the, uh, the front of the ship, like the direction uh, that it's pointing in, so you know where, where you want to be at the back. Uh, makes it a lot easier. Also, I can see the cargo bay here, so I know that I'm kind of upside down. I want to kind of spin this around. Again, you can, uh, if you want to, just go into this mode. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, but we can see exactly where that cargo bay is, so we know how to position ourselves. It um, doesn't really matter which way you're facing. As long as you're close enough to 
that when you actually do this, and this is what really counts, and you don't want to hit the ship, please, please make sure you don't hit the ship because if it starts spinning out of control, uh, it makes it just so much harder for you. So yeah, we're going to leave it right there. Uh, these joysticks are a little bit temperamental. I'm still getting used to them, but all good. So we're going to leave the ship just there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You do want to be quite close. Makes it a lot easier from when you're uh, when you're doing this. I think it's on the other side actually. This time I'm yeah yeah wrong side. Uh, make sure you don't leave the other door open because if you throw a box in, it will just fly straight out the other side. Uh, you don't want to do that. All right, so here we go. We're jumping out, going over that dizzy spell, and straight towards. Say so we don't really want to do is bounce off the ship. It's a bit of a noob thing to do. Okay. So again, we're going to look towards the front of the ship, or the back of the ship, sorry, is where our ship is. The idea is that we want to be able to come upside. And here we go. Four boxes, which we know, again, is good profit. So, see exactly where we're going. We're just going to throw them in. Now, there is also the chance of pirates, but honestly, out here... You'd be very, very unlucky to run into anyone because nobody's going to know where this uh, this salvage is. It doesn't get a doesn't show up on anyone else's screen. So only you have it. So if you do run into someone, you're just very unlucky. All right. So there we go. Another four. And as you can see on this one, one of five minutes really, from taking the job to actually finishing the job. And I'm sure if you're more efficient than me, you'll be able to do this a hell of a lot quicker. I'm not exactly rushing, but there you go. Less than five minutes start to the end. Now, I know that if you're very efficient in doing this, you can get these missions down to three minutes. I've done that myself. So I know it's possible. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to do one more. So I've done three for you. And then that will be 15 minutes from start to finish of this recording, okay? So I'm doing I'm going a little bit slower here so I can show you and make sure you understand. Again, we're going to uh, abandon this contract in the accepted tab. Go back to personal. We're going to pick up the job. Again, we want the Hurston one. Make sure you get the right one, the Hurston. There's either a Hurston or a um, yellow one. We're going to take this. Then we go to our star map. We're going to zoom into where it is. In this case, it's here. Perfect. And exactly the same thing again. So we're going to head over here, pick up our third contract. Hopefully there's something here. And that's 90,000 that we've spent so far. So again, I want you to consider doing five to ten of these, depending on your risk tolerance. And then we're going to head over to uh, dump these. Now, there's two places you'll need to go. The Quantanium, you'll need to go to a TDD. You can do that at any major port. Um, but if you're going to do the uh, the maze, the only place in the game at the moment that you can sell the maze for uh, the profits of 90,000 is at CRU L4. So that's where we're going to be heading. So, all right, here we go. We can see our last contract. It's just here. We're going to head towards it. As we get close enough, it will update. Okay, now it's going to tell us where we need to go, which is down here. So we can lock onto our ship. We can also go into scan mode. Once we're in scan mode, we can look at the ship and we can press and hold the, the trigger so that we can scan and it will tell us what's on the left side first. It tells us all the details on the left side. Then it's going to update the information on the right side. We're holding down the left mouse button now. This one's actually not going to tell us what's on the right side. It's, it's sometimes a bit temperamental. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, this one doesn't want to tell us. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. There we go. So now it's told us on the on the right hand side we can see there's maze, quantanium, slam, and widow. Those are the four items that are in here. And we know that car goes in there now, which is also a good thing to know. So uh, this one being a Caterpillar is a slightly different ship. So the way that we'll deal with this one, the Starfarer as well, very easy. You'll just uh, 
you'll, you'll navigate up to the rear of the ship and open up the ramp. And for this one, quite simple. All we're going to do is we're going to come up to the side of the ship here. It's going to come alongside it. I will go into this mode. Okay, so we're going to open up these side panels. Now, we don't know which side panel it's going to be in. So what we're going to do uh, just for the purpose of this is head over here. Okay, and then we're just going to go and have a look. So we're going to just kind of park it in the middle somewhere. Kind of there. Doesn't need to be anything perfect. And from there, we're going to jump out, open the side door, and head over. Okay, so there we are. Jumping over. Sometimes you can get out of there without that, uh, that happening. Now what we're looking for here, on this ship, is the yellow... Um, the little yellow box here, so it's a bit hard with that sunlight, that light there. But if you look, this little yellow marker. If you come up to this, you should be able to hit open, uh, and that should open. If it doesn't, just go to the end where the elevator is, and you'll be able to open up the back and get in that way. So all you're going to do at this stage is just jump in. Doesn't matter where, just jump into anyone, and then you're going to just run through. Uh, if you run through, you're looking for the boxes. If you get to this table, oh, there are the boxes. The boxes are there. So, you're going to get to either the back, which is this, or the other way, there's a table. And that's what's going to happen. So, once you've found them, just deploy the one that you're in. Saves open up all the sides. And that's where we're going to. So, the good thing about being in here, I can take these off. And from being in here, I can just throw them straight over to my ship. Nice and easy. All right. Again, you're probably going to be much better at this than me, so you'll probably be able to do this a lot quicker. As you can see, on average, around five minutes per load. Which is not bad when you consider you're making 100 K plus per five minutes. So if we were to do 10 of these, that would take us a total of 50 minutes. 100k profit, 10 times, that's a million. Uh, you can do that within an hour. It's very possible to make a million an hour doing this run. Now, if you can get them down to three minutes, even better. I don't know what's happening there, it's bugging out. I do like to just lock these in place so that they're secure. Makes it a bit easier. And that's it. All right, so let's go and uh, cash in on our haul, shall we? Show you how to do that. So let's just imagine you've done 5 or 10, whatever your risk tolerance level is. Uh, I know I've only done 3. For the purpose of this video, I want to keep it relatively short. Um, but you do get the idea. You can scout this. We're going to click on CRUL4, uh, and we're going to go to the Shallow Fields Station. This is where we need to go. And we're going to go there first before we do anything else. So, make sure you don't hit the ship that you're about to leave. because That would be stupid. Okay. So it's 26 million kilometers. Again, if you're in a rented Cuddy Black, it's going to take you a little bit longer. That shouldn't be too bad for us. It's going to take a couple of minutes. And again, if you've got the Quantanium, now in this video, I've done three runs, and that is three boxes of Quantanium. That's 75,000 uh, credits right there. But I have to go to a TDD to do it. You might want to do that because it takes quite a bit of time to land, to get the train, and to get back again. I tend to wait. Um, I normally stack up about eight or ten of them, so I've got a, cut a quarter of a mil, and then I'll go and drop them off. The only reason I do this is because the maze is really where the profit is, and also if you get caught with the maze or you get caught with any of these drugs, um, you can end up with a fine and a, a crime stat, so you don't want to do that. So, yeah, the drugs is really the most important thing to be able to run those. As you can see, I don't do any weapons, I don't waste my time, I don't do any salvaging, I don't waste my time. You could. Um, but I'm in and out within five minutes. And so, for the purpose of this video, which has now been going for 20 minutes, that's five minutes to get to the location and five minutes to get back. And then if you allow for five minutes per location, that means you can comfortably do 10 if you're taking five minutes. Now, again, you can do it a lot quicker. You can do it in three minutes. My quickest is three minutes, 10 seconds. And that is from accepting the contract to accepting the next contract. Uh, that's three minutes, 10 seconds. So it is possible to be efficient. Now, if you're doing this, you're doing 10 runs, um, 
you could make if you're making uh, again a full profit that's 110k profit per run so over 10 runs you should be making 1.1 million now i'm going to imagine that you lose one out of ten because there's a problem if that's the case you're going to make a million if you get unlucky and the rng is against you and you only get seven out of the ten you're going to make about 800k still good profit for an hour's worth of work very little risk and that's profit that's after costs because it's 30k per contract you're going to make 90k off the maze you're going to make 10k off of the one of the others 15k off the one of the others and 25k off of one of the others so yeah 110k is profit all right so we're just about to arrive here we're gonna have to go to our second now this is the point where we want to make sure we get there we don't want to we don't want to crash we don't want to get caught we don't want to get pirated this is where we want to make sure we get in so we've got a bit of a cool down here i'm just going to chill for a sec At this point as well, you might want to just make sure you've got your uh, shields on full, just in case, worst case scenario. And then we're just going to get onto that second QT, which for some reason isn't working. Now, you might get unlucky, you know, you might get a 30k, but at least in that instance, if you do, you can just, and this is what I do, if you get a 30k and you're unlucky, I just go and sell the Quantanium. It's just an easy opportunity because I'm already there. And then head back out and come here to sell the rest of the stuff so all right here we go so we're here now i've never been searched here but that's not to say it won't happen um, just better to be safe than sorry but so far i've never been searched arriving here so yeah i'm not saying it won't happen uh, i head off to the side you'll notice i don't go directly in because i don't want to crash Just don't come in too fast. Right, we can see where we're landing. Perfect. again for someone that's a better flyer than me for someone that's able to uh, be more efficient than me you'll be able to do this a lot quicker than me just try not to crash at this point there's nothing worse than crashing when you're this close You can still be scanned at this point, so get the engines off and get out. You should be safe once you're on foot. Alright, so we're here. Now, once you're here, we're going to simply run inside. We're going to take the elevator down to the lobby. Remember where we are, in this case, Hangar 1, because we're going to come straight back. Once you're at the lobby, we're going to run directly opposite to where the elevators are. Okay, game seems to have bugged out. One sec, there we are. Uh, straight across from security, you can see the elevators. They're always got that same color about them. Alright, so once here, we're going to take the elevator downstairs. And we're going to go all upstairs even to the Galleria. Okay, once in the Galleria, we're going to turn left up these little steps and left again. We're going to come round in a U-shape to the locker room. Inside the locker room, here is the terminal. This is the black market terminal where you can select your inventory, select your ship, and here we can see what we're selling. So, first thing we're going to do is sell our maze. Now, remember, we spent 30k per contract. Okay, 30k per contract, and that's 90k. One, one maze alone is going to sell for 90k, so already 270k, we're in profit just from the maze alone. 
So for every three successful runs you do, um, one maze covers the cost of that. All right, so that's done. We're now in Profit Widow, as we can see, sells for 10,000. That's another 30K right there. And the Slam sells for 15. So that's another 45K right there. So as you can see, uh, that's not even selling the Quantanium. We still have 75Ks worth of Quantanium that we can sell as well um, to go on top. So you can see, very, very possible to, to make uh, 1 million credits per hour if you're efficient um, and you, you do these runs. Again, I'd probably do it five to start with. Uh, just do five. Um, you might want to do less. You might want to do more. It's up to you. Ten is probably the most I feel comfortable doing. But uh, it's up to you. Anyway, that's uh, that's how within an hour you can earn a million credits. Um, I did a video on this before. I actually told you you could do this. Showed you the process. And then proceeded to lose 90k <laughs> in like 20 minutes. So I wanted to make sure I did the video to show you properly how it actually works and, and how you can do it. So uh, yeah, enjoy.